Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Return of the Oprah Din. So, the mystery of the Oprah Din continues to grow. We made some progress last episode. We put some names to some faces, made some key connections, but we still have a long ways to go. Last time we saw a public execution, there was still talk of mutiny. It's just a, a lot of interpersonal hatred going on on the ship as well. But now I gotta find the next the next corpse to investigate. Already checked this one out. That was the artist. I think I might need to go deeper within the ship itself. Because we've we've seen all of this stuff. Yeah, we did that. Aha, it's fuzzy now. Means we can go down here. Ooh. That's a big splotch. More than likely blood. From what we've seen so far. Seems to be where all the, the goods are kept. Mm -hmm. What's in here? Looks like the armory. Aha. Uh, uh, a bull skull. Oh, please don't tell me I have to determine the fates of the animals, too. Now they're, they're butchering, butchering something. You all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, John. Oh, we have another name. No, oh, yeah, they're slaughtering that cow. Okay. So I'm guessing this is Charlie. If he's throwing up. Alright. There's a Charles Minor. There's a Charles Hurstick. So it could be either one of them. Wait. Wait a minute. No, he's one of the midshipmen. He's the midshipman, Charlie, because he's standing close to him, I want to say. Uh, we're going to put that down for right now, but we're not going to commit to that. Okay, this guy's there. Hmm. I'm guessing these are all the midshipmen together helping out, helping out the uh, the butcher. Oh wow, he's got it. He's got that axe right into that cow's head. Ooh, right, I'm getting a little, a little too focused on that. What? Oh, these guys are carrying a dead body. All right, what happened to this guy? Oh, that dude has a monkey. What? You're just gonna bring a monkey on the ship? That seems like a bad idea. Chapter two, a bitter cold. Okay, I'm going to pull up the book real quick. Um, Got to go to the sketch. 
this guy. I'm pretty sure he's Emil O'Farrell, the butcher. Uh, he could be the cook, too, because back in those days, back in those days, cooks probably killed their own stuff, too. Darn it. Thought I was, thought I was going to be clever there. How many midshipmen are there? So this guy has to be Thomas. If he's the last of the midshipmen, because they're all wearing the same uniform. Just with little different accoutrements. Just gotta keep putting names to faces here. Alright. Oh, we're stealing the dead guy's soul. Nom nom nom. Eat that soul, pocket watch. Yay, everyone's favorite game. Follow the smoke ring that the smoke trail that takes forever and makes uh, makes rings around everything. Okay, at least the smoke went quick that time. Wonder how this poor sap met his end. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Not a consumption. Made worse by the cold. Did it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And me. <laughs> What are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. Oh, now we have sickness? Okay, we know that guy. Oh, there's the monkey. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, there's another dead person. Everyone's just dropping like flies. Okay. Alright, this seems to be a pretty self-contained scene. Ooh, I got little peepholes. I'm watching you. I was hoping to see if I could see anyone else like hiding out in their room. No, I want to get to the other side. Um, well, this person got sick. This person just got sick and died of a lung disease. Ah, illness. Unless he was poisoned. I'm gonna go with illness. Alright, there's the scene we were watching. Oh, same room. Okay, so you can't really see anything from this, from either side of the ship on this level. Ah. Uh, see what this guy succumbed to. Don't do. See? Why, why does the smoke have to do that? Why does it have to go around the steps? I didn't even move. I forget, you can cancel it out. <laughs> That's Russian. That is some kind of... Middle Eastern language? The writing, at least? 
We got a name. We got Syed. So I'm guessing that's Syed. Okay. Got dudes sleeping in their hammocks. What's going on over? Wow, everyone's just sleeping. Wait, what? Oh, the hammocks have numbers on them. I wonder if the numbers match up with the numbers on the crew manifest. Oh, I gotta go see what bed or what hammock Syed's in then. 54. Alright, so if number 54 is Syed, then the numbers might match up. Ooh, this could be the this could be the thread that unravels everything. Alright, in the previous memory he said that the guy is dying just like the other one. So we're gonna go illness. Then go to fifty-four. Solomon Syed. Oh, the numbers on the hammocks match match the crew manifest. This could be really good to put names to faces with then. Okay. So this is 51. Um, so that would make him Renfred Rajab. Oh, did we do it? Yes. All right. Three more fates figured out. That puts us at nine. All right, let's see what more information we can get out of this then. What number are you? X? Well, I can't be right. We're in the 50s. Uh, 51, 54, 53. So you're 52. Trying to trick me like that. You are Abraham Akbar. One day you'll be Admiral. And so this guy got up out of his hammock. So he's 53. And I guess I would... I'm going to make an assumption here. I would assume back in the early 19th century, you know, late 18th century, they would probably room or, you know, keep everybody from the same country or area in the same, you know, spot. Because they, they would be able to speak a, a common language. And, you know, not the most racially friendly time. You know, in all of existence. Alright, who else? Can I, can I identify anyone else when they're sleeping? 39, 40. Oh, I can't see anyone's faces. Everyone's sleeping with the covers over their head. And then we got the Russians playing, playing cards. It's a nice pipe. So if someone's smoking a pipe, they're number 47. Hmm. Okay, I think that's all the information we're going to be able to get out of this scene. But that was good. We got a lot of names on a lot of faces. Just going to take that one little loose thread. 
to really break this case wide open. Why, why did I click the map? Oh, I was like, who is the third person? Because there's three deaths. The uh, third death was the cow. Well, okay then. No more souls to steal. Um, where where do I go? Oh, now it's now it's the puzzle part. Let's investigate this place. Is it in the armory? Anyone get shivved in here? No. Ah, couldn't make it. Door just slammed right in my face. I'm gonna put that in the report. Insurance investigator, broken nose caused by ghost door. Okay, this seems to be a workshop. Got our little, our little sneaky section here. Wait a minute. That's blood. Aha! Found something. Uh, what other kind of crazy tragedy has befallen this ship? happened what is that is that a giant crab I gotta get out into the main room and see what's going on here whoa what oh they're only letting me look through the portholes What is happening? It's a giant crab. Or, or a spider. Chapter six. Soldiers of the Sea. What is going on? Well, they were stabbed by a giant crab, but I'm not going to put that down just quite yet. Uh, I feel like there's a lot more to investigate. Oh, this is the guy that was slaughtering the cow. He's dead now, too. Oh, I'm chasing you, Smoke Trail. I'm chasing you. I'm gonna beat you there. Where, where, where are you going? Nothing over there. They're just barrels. Oh, he's pinned against the wall. I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Oh, they're trying to help him. Oh, they killed one. 
Yeah, that's a giant crab. Oh, is that our boy Charlie? Who is puking? I don't get it. What is he dousing it with water or is he dousing it with like gasoline? What is that? That's a big ass gun. What is that? Like old school shotgun? Huh. First giant squids. Now giant crabs. Although, no, wait. Uh, it looks like the giant crabs came first, like, chronologically. I'm gonna need a little bit more info on this entire scenario before I start determining causes of death. Manners. Manners of death. I don't know why I keep saying causes of death. Manners of death. Like, I'm looking for, like... You know, shot, stabbed, illness, something like that. I'm not looking for the cause of death, which would be, you know, asphyxiation, exsanguination, stuff like that. Alright, maybe this will give us some more insight into the giant crab monster. Come on, where's my pocket watch? There we go. Fire. Did... Oh, looks like he got impaled and they lit it on fire. That is a crazy looking gun. Oh, we got two more dead people over here. Yeah, that dude doesn't have... That dude's head is not attached to his body anymore. Oh, there's a spike right there. Oh, are there more than just the one? No, no way. What, are they besieged by giant crabs? There's a couple different ways he could have died. He could have gotten impaled by the thing, or if he's still alive, it didn't have any vital organs, the fire would have definitely got him then. We're just going to try and go chronologically through this chapter, and then we we'll, might be able to piece together all of the, you know, moving parts. Oh, we're getting a twofer here. We're gonna investigate both of them. Oh, that is a terrifying noise. just pincered their heads off. What? Is that like a... Is that a person riding the giant crab? Oh, that's some nightmare fuel right there. What in the... It's, it's a person riding a giant crab. Or it might be a spider, because they have little pincers down on the bottom. Sea spiders. Yeah, these, uh, these dudes got their heads clawed off.
Oh, that person got stabbed. Whoa. Gotta go back up top for the next for the next soul to steal. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that one has a crazy spear. Wow, these giant crab spider things took out a lot of people. Some crazy umbrella style bio weapons. Come on, lead me to where I need to go, smoke trail. All right, so. We've learned that even before the giant squid attacked, there was a little illness going around the Obra Den that took the lives of a few people. And then giant crazy crab spider monsters with people riding them invaded the ship. This, uh, it's making Gilligan's Island seem a lot more palatable, you know. I'd rather go on a three-hour tour and get stranded with, uh, you know, Ginger, Marianne, the professor, than having to deal with all of this on the doomed ship over it in. But we learned a lot this episode. We put a lot of names to faces, and we're just going to keep on pulling those threads and unravel this mystery next time.